Well, hello there. Today, we are gonna talk about Root Work by Tracy Cross. Root Work is part of the Dark Heart book series, which is an imprint of Dark Matter magazine. So it is under the umbrella of the Dark Matter family. And I heard about this book through Mother Horror, AKA City Hartman. It is a tale that takes place in the late 1800s in Louisiana. And it is a story of family, love, tragedy, and magic. And root work is a kind of magic. It follows the story of these three sisters, Betty, Anne, and Pee Wee, and their Aunt Theodora, or more affectionately known as Aunt Teddy. And Aunt Teddy lives out in the woods where she does her root work and practices hoodoo. It's a hot, swampy summer. Anne is very interested in learning how to do root work. Aunt Teddy is the girl's father's sister. Their ma doesn't really love her that much. He kind of calls her a swamp rat. She is a little leery about having them go and like learn some of this stuff, but after her mom pa talk it out, she's like, all right, you girls can go for like a day or so and see what you think. And then we'll, we'll take it from there. And you know, she's all, mm -mm. so the girls go. Anne's excited to go and learn. Pee Wee's all aboard, ready to just, see what this is all about. And then Betty is totally not interested. Betty likes boys and has a crush that lives in their little parish in Louisiana. She does not want to learn how to do root work and is not interested and just is kind of mad that she's being drug along to go learn all this stuff. And so they go, Betty drags her feet, but you know, she goes and she learns some stuff. And Pee Wee is the most enthusiastic of them all. Like she, Pee Wee just gets like hands dirty and all into it. And seems that she has like a natural aptitude for it. And the things, and the stuff that they say, the vibrancy of the characters, they just jump right off the page at you. And I really love that. And I love anything that kind of has like magical, kind of folk horror or anything that's a little bit witchy. I love it. You really get into the scene and the setting of this story and it's really exciting too because this is the first book in the series. It's called the Conjure series so I can't wait to see where the story goes especially kind of where it leaves off. So what happens is you know the three sisters they go and they start to learn root work and then a tragedy happens and they kind of go through a plethora of emotions about what happens and then they all kind of come together to work this powerful magic and avenge the wrongs that have been done. It's a story that it works its magic on you. It's a story full of heart, soul, and family. And you really see everything through the eyes of the girls and I love that. And they're around the age of like school age. Pee Wee's the youngest and she's like 10 and a half. And then you have Betty and Anne. I imagine they're all under 18. So they're younger. The way they interact as siblings is very <laughs> sibling-like. And it's just great. It's so the stuff they say is really funny. And I still, I can't get the line out of my head, which maybe you guys will think is dumb, but there's one point, cause some of the stuff that they work with, with their Aunt Teddy is kind of smelly. And Pee Wee is like, I think it was Pee Wee at least, says, Smell like stank on a skunk though. And I thought that was freaking hilarious and I don't know why, but there's so many things. I left, I cried, the story was great. Once I started reading, I didn't want to stop. I read it really quickly. And like I said, I cannot wait for the next installment to come out. So if you guys do want to check this book out, I'll have a link down below. So Root Work by Tracy Cross will be out November 15th. Definitely check it out if you like books that are magical, and kind of like folk horror vibes. The story was addictive to read and there's gonna be more, so even better. I gave this book five stars. Addicting story, vibrant characters. I love the conversational and like sibling a relationship. It was freaking great. And then just what happens, it was very moving and great story with magical threads all woven through it. If you like books that have witchy or folk horror vibes, the next video coming up will be a video of that sort. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, boop that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.